Hey everybody, it's Will here. Welcome back to another episode of the Blockware Intelligence YouTube channel. As always this week, we're going to have a podcast for you this week speaking with Eden Yago from Sovereign, who talks about bringing DeFi to Bitcoin, as well as our weekly market overview uh, video. But I wanted to do a little something different uh, and just take some time to go ahead and go over our new indicator dashboard, which launched this will launch this week. Uh, I know I've kind of been hyping it up over the last month or two, so I just wanted to take some time to show you guys the website as well as kind of some of the functionality on it. So first of all, we're on the regular Blockware Solutions website. Um, there's there's two different ways that you can really get to the dashboard. So A, we can go from the main uh, Blockware website and click on this top tab here where it says Blockware Intelligence Indicator Dashboard. Or we can go to intelligence.blockwaresolutions.com. And now we're on the site. Um, so first of all, what you'll notice is on the top here, we have some different tabs. So we have the home tab, which will take you back to the main Blockware site. About us, which shows you some different information about all the Blockware team members. We have the indicator dashboard, which we're on currently. Um, we have a tab which you can sign up for the newsletter, which I highly recommend if you don't already. Um, the research and publications that we've come out with as a company. Uh, media mentions, so A, from the main block where uh, Twitter as well as different team members have tweeted things out. Uh, the different pools and staking we're involved in. Uh, services that we offer. And then lastly, contact and support tabs for anyone who uh, does business with us. Below, you'll see we have this ticker. Uh, going across the ticker, we have several different metrics. So first of all, we have um, some, some you know, legacy market uh, metrics. So first of all, we have the NASDAQ, Dow Jones, and S&P, uh, as well as we also have some, some more macro indicators, including the 10-year treasury rate, uh, the dollar index, and MT, M2 money supply. Um, and then again, we also have Bitcoin price that just goes across the top. So coming down into the, the main kind of section of, of the indicator dashboard, uh, first of all, we just have a price chart here. Um, on this price chart, you'll notice several things. So first of all, you have price next to where it says Bitcoin price versus hash rate. Uh, we also, excuse me, we also have um, numerous different, uh, you know, toggles here. So first of all, you can go to the, the broader view of all Bitcoin's price. Uh, we can look at weekly candles, daily candles, as well as an hourly view as well for more granularity. And you can also come down here and toggle on and off logarithmic, as you can see here. In addition to that, we can also add on hash rate by simply toggling this on here. And what you'll see is that now this will overlay both. And so we can see the relationship between hash rate and price. On the right-hand side, we have our market at a glance. So these are some major uh, indicators or, or metrics that we look at to kind of get a gauge of A, the market, and also the health of the Bitcoin network itself. So in the top right, we have perpetual futures, which looks at the funding rate for the perpetual futures market. On the top right, we have uh, the 10-year treasury rate uh, from, Fed, uh, from Fred, excuse me. <laughs> uh, below that, we have some mining data, including difficulty and hash rate, both overlaid. Uh, below that, we have ETH BTC. We have transaction activity, which looks at transfer volume and uh, active addresses. And then lastly, we also have um, Google searches. So this looks at the amount of Google searches uh, for Bitcoin. In terms of functionality, what we can do is we can click these arrows in the top right, and that'll bring these charts onto this main area here. So as you can see, I can bring the perpetual futures. I can bring transaction activity. I can bring mining data. Uh, all onto this main section of the chart. And one last thing in terms of functionality on this main section, uh, what you can do is you can also toggle with these uh, in and out zoom uh, buttons. So you can, you know, if I want to zoom in on the chart, I can click this and it'll, it'll zoom in for me. As well as I can go back to home, which will take me back to the, to the reset zoomed version. Scrolling down, um, we'll, we'll get into these different subsections of different metrics. So this is kind of the main area where you can view different families of metrics that you're interested in. So first of all, we have the derivatives data. So we have the perpetual futures funding rate, which we touched on briefly, uh, the futures open interest, market cap divided by open interest for each individual exchange, 
And then we have short and long liquidations. Um, so these three will all be coming soon. We're just working on getting an API for that. Um, so we should have uh, the funding rate, open interest, and short long liquidations. Um, these two will be aggregated versions. Well, I'm, actually all three will be aggregated versions uh, and we'll have that out in the next couple of weeks. Next up, we have mining data. So we're looking at difficulty, uh, difficulty estimate. So we're estimating what the next difficulty adjustment is gonna be, Bitcoin price versus hash rate. Uh, and then lastly, we have hash or difficulty ribbons. Below that, we have some different network stats. So first of all, we have transaction rate or, or transaction count, um, both side by side there. We have active addresses, we have transfer volume, uh, and this is in USD terms, as well as mean transaction size, so average transaction size. Below this, we have some uh, Lightning Network stats, which we pull from our own node here at Blockware. We have Lightning Network capacity, Lightning Network registrations, Lightning Network swaps created, and Lightning Network number of channels. Below that, we have some different macro indicators. So we have our 10-year rates, our M2 money supply, the DXY or the dollar index, as well as the NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow Jones. And then lastly, we have our retail sentiment indicators. So we can look at Google searches, Coinbase app store rankings. So funny enough, uh, the, whenever Coinbase gets to the, the uh, top on the, on the app store, uh, that tends to be kind of at least a, a kind of local top signal, believe it or not. Um, it kind of represents some exuberance from retail market participants. We also have daily increase in Twitter followers for some major uh, crypto or Bitcoin related Twitter accounts. And then lastly, daily increase in YouTube, view, uh, YouTube views for different kind of major crypto or uh, you know, Bitcoin related uh, YouTube influencers, simply as kind of a gauge for retail sentiment as well. And then one last thing on functionality before we uh, scroll on, you can take any of these indicators which have this little icon in the top, and you can plop this onto the main section of the chart. So for example, I'll take uh, active addresses and I'll click, click to compare here. And that will bring that chart onto the main chart. And so now I can overlook active addresses with price and get the correlation between the two or, or understand you know, how these two dynamics kind of play together, if you will. And you can do that with any of these charts that you'd like. Uh, soon we'll be adding in a function where you can add multiple of these charts uh, you know, at once. Again, guys, you know, this, is, this is our V1 launch. And so you know, we, we're building this for the community. Uh, we'd love your feedback on anything. Uh, we understand you know, it, it's the V1. It's not perfect. Uh, but there, there's definitely some things that you know, we'd love to hear from you guys in terms of feedback on different you know, functionality things or different metrics you'd like added. You know, don't be shy to just let us know and reach out. Um, you know, we're happy to kind of work with the community to, to you know, make this the best product for you guys. So next, we have a link to the Market Intelligence Newsletter, which is the newsletter that I put out along with uh, Joe Burnett and Blake Davis uh, every week, which covers on-chain analysis, mining, as well as some crypto or Bitcoin-related equity analysis. And here we can see all of these recent newsletters. So we can scroll through every week's newsletter from the past. Um, and so it's hard to believe that we're already on week 16. Um, but, you know, if you, if you go back, you can scroll all the way to, to the beginning um, and look at all of our, our previous um, analysis week to week, uh, as well as, you know, whenever, whenever we repost uh, the, newest, the newest letter. So uh, this will probably be out, be out on Friday and recording this Thursday night. Um, but you'll see the, the newest newsletter here whenever this comes out. And then below, we also have recent videos from the Blockware Intelligence YouTube channel, which you're currently watching. Um, so we have our recent uh, episode with Sam Tribuco, our you know, market overview episode with Raul Paul, episode with Nick Batia, and so forth, uh, the Plan B Willy Woo episode. Um, and so you can scroll through and check out all these different episodes as well. And then that'll take you to a link to the actual YouTube channel. Scrolling down, now we have our news and social media section. So this looks at different um, you know, posts from A, the Blockware team or, or main Blockware um, Twitter account, as well as some different uh, you know, team members here at Blockware, including Mason, myself, um, Sam Schwarzynski, uh, Warren Rogers, et cetera. 
lastly, here is just another prompt to type in your email to go and subscribe to the newsletter as well. And that's it, guys. Uh, at the bottom also, you know, we can, again, click on About Us, some research uh, publications, a lot of the links that are up top, as well as get connected on different social media platforms with us. And then lastly, contact us. And that's it for now, guys. Uh, just wanted to do a brief overview of our new indicator dashboard. Uh, like I said, you know, this is built by the community for the community. Uh, whatever you guys would like added, please feel free to uh, let us know. Any feedback you have, honest feedback is really appreciated. Um, you know, we're looking to kind of fine tune this to whatever you guys would like added. Uh, and we're happy to work with whatever, you know, the community decides that they'd like to see. Um, so yeah, with that guys, uh, I'll see you tomorrow uh, for the uh, YouTube uh, with, with Eden Yago, as well as the market, uh, the market overview video. So I uh, hope you guys all have a great weekend. I hope you all had a great week and um, I'll see you on Twitter. Take care. Bye guys.